Welcome on back. It is time for Wild Wednesday. Each week we check in with Carter Parks and Wildlife as we are joined now with Joey Livingston with CPW. I almost butchered your name. I've only <laughs> known him for like half a year, but thanks so much for being here with yeah, us, Joey. No problem. Thanks. Yeah, we always love it. So, Joey, we just moved our clocks forward with daylight saving time, and I was wondering, do we encounter more wildlife this time of year? Do you see that with drivers? We want to show you this video too. Our morning anchor, Erica, she got some cool video of elk yeah. crossing the road when she was headed to Breckenridge. Yeah. So what do you think? Do you see a trend here? We definitely do. So the majority of wildlife related traffic accidents happen right after a time change. So animal behavior is very tied to the sunrise and sunset. And so when human behavior jumps an hour, it can throw wildlife off a little bit and take them a little bit of time to adjust to the massive amounts of people during rush hour traffic and things like that. So definitely when there's a time change, very important to make sure you're extra vigilant of wildlife when you're out driving. Make sure to drive slow in areas. And if you see one animal, there's probably more as well. Yeah, I've seen that firsthand roller coaster road. I'm just going to put it right there. Just about every morning, leaving at 6.30, there's a herd of deer that I've seen the oh, past I few days. Oh, I feel bad. So. We need to switch so it's not so hard on them. <laughs> Either way, I don't care. Speaking of this time of year, not just, you know, daylight saving, but this is the time where bears are waking up, they're out and about, my neighborhood's talking about it. What's your message about, you know, once again, being bear aware? It's a message we like to repeat. Yeah, so bears are waking up, they're becoming more active. It's very important this time of year to make sure we're setting good habits for the bears early. If, uh, you know, make sure you're securing your trash, keeping food sources secure and away from bears. If we can prevent them from getting human provided food sources early in the year, they're more likely to go look elsewhere and it can just set us up for a better bear year. Build good habits for bears and your neighbors. That's a yes, good yes. message. Joey, finally, I'm very familiar with these guys. I, I worked in Nebraska for a little while. Right now, more than 20,000 sand cranes are migrating. Some of them stopping here in southern Colorado. I know CPW taking part in some of the crane festivals going on. Yeah. Tell us about the, yeah, this the is birds. A, this is a big event every year in Colorado where the um, sandhill cranes are migrating through. Um, they'll usually winter up in Idaho or uh, summer up in Idaho and Wyoming. Some of them are starting to summer a little bit more here in Colorado as well. Uh, but big event for a lot of birders and CPW. Um, up, upcoming we have the Eckert uh, Sand Day or Eckert Crane Days coming up not this weekend but next weekend. CPW is going to be out there and so we'll have um, our off, uh, biologist Evan Phillips giving presentation on sandhill cranes. He studies their migration patterns and changes that we're seeing. So it should be a very interesting presentation he's giving there. Quick thing on that. I haven't really heard a whole lot about sand cranes living here in Colorado. Did you say we are seeing them migrate more here in our state now? Uh, we're seeing them summer more. Summer so, more. So normally they winter in New Mexico, Arizona, and Mexico, mm -hmm. and they usually just would migrate through Colorado. Uh, but in recent years, from what I've heard from some of our folks, they're starting to stay in Colorado. And they like it here. Everyone does. <laughs> well, you know, the climate is changing a little bit yeah. and being a little bit warmer here. They're, uh, yeah, they're, they're tending to stay. The here. pictures the past few years from our viewers of some of the organi like organized events, yeah, it seems like a lot more are coming. Yeah. Joey, thank you as as always for all the great info if you want more details from CPW just hit up our website kktv.com click the find it tab I'll have a link to their website there in just the next few minutes but stick with us we're gonna have your full forecast right after the break